Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. What a day it is to be alive. We got up every morning and we are just here to praise God for his goodness. This is the early morning prayer meeting, the ministry of the New Providence Real Harvest Seventh-day Adventist Church located here in Nassau, Bahamas. The early morning prayer meeting is a time for prayer, for fellowship, for sharing, and for inspiration from the word. I'm your host, Elder Keeble Dawkins, supported by our pastor, Pastor Alvarico Moss, our producer, Sister Marissa Stubbs, and technical support from Elder Ramon Forbes and Brother Keon Thompson. And of course, we are happy to see you. We're happy that you got up from your sleep. You know, God has given you the touch of life and you're alive this morning. And we are here to praise the Lord. And a Tuesday morning, we usually don't have any speaker because we want to give you a little time to share, to pray, and to just talk with us, the fellowship. So this morning, I just want to share a text with you and it's a text that we are very familiar with matthew chapter 27 28 verses 90 18 19 and 20 something that we are all familiar with in light of what we are doing now with a new life new start crusade and jesus said all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the earth. That there is hope. I am with you always something that we can rely on that god is with us and always will be with us i want to share a few passages from the book evangelism as we get ready for praying i have not seen the person who have asked to pray so sister deidre um sister stacy stand by we will go into a time of prayer after we are finished it says that all are now deciding their eternal destiny men need to be aroused to realize the solemnity of the time the nearness of the day when human probation shall end decided effort should be made to bring the message of this time prominently before the people the third angel is to go forth with great power and this other one says as a people we greatly need to humble our hearts before god pleading his forgiveness for our neglect to fulfill the gospel commission we have made large centers in few places leaving on work many important cities and this one says that the work of our lord the words of our lord jesus are spoken to us living down here in the close of earth history when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads your redemption joy nigh the nations are in unrest time of perplexity are upon us the waves of the sea are roaring men hearts are failing them for fear and for expectation of those things which are coming up on the earth but those who believe on the son of god will hear his voice in the storm saying it is i be not afraid we see the world lying in dark in wickedness and apostasy rebellion to the commandment of god seems almost universal 
amid the tumult of excitement with confusion in every place, there is a work to be done in this world. Yes, my brothers and sisters, there is a work to be done in this world. And God has called upon us, all of us, to put our hands together, to be co-laborers with him. The fields are white and ready for harvest. In spite of what we see around men, hearts, failing them for fear, but there's always people to respond to the voice of God. So our prayer meeting this morning, I want you to continue to pray for this evangelistic trust that we have launched going on. Um, just pray for breakthrough, that the hearts of men will be softened. Pray for this preacher that he will continue to pray, preach um, as God directs him. Pray for Elder Moss as he prepared to come on after I'm through. What a mighty God we serve. So, Keon, load up that song. And after that, we we'll go into a season of prayer. There's no pain. Jesus cannot feel. Amen. And there's no hurt he cannot heal. For all things work according to the master, perfect, and his holy will. So no matter what you're going through remember that god is only wants to use you for the battle is not yours is the lord it's the lord it's the lord so just hold your Head up high, and don't you cry. It's the Lord, it's the Lord, it's the Lord. So just hold your head up high, don't you cry. It's the Lord, there's no sadness. Jesus cannot feel there's no sorrow that the master able and willing to heal remember that all things work according to my master's holy and perfect will so no matter what you're going through, remember that God only wants to use you for this battle. It's not yours, it's the Lord. I say, it's the Lord. It's the Lord. Oh, but just hold your head up high. And don't you cry. Rest the Lord. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. Oh, but just hold your head up high. And don't you cry. Because it's the Lord. I say, is the Lord, is the Lord. Oh, but just hold your head up high. And don't you cry for this battle. Oh, it's not yours. 
is the Lord, and he's only going to use it for his glory. I say he's only using it for his glory. I say he's only using it for his glory. So just hold, just hold your head up high, and don't you cry for this battle. Oh, it's not yours. It is, it is the Lord's. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord. So, my father is here now, so he's going to lead off in praying. And then Sister Stacy, if you're able, and Sister Dage, you can come on and we'll take another one after that. So we'll take four prayers. And remember, we are praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and breakthrough in this campaign. Let's pray. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arm. Most righteous, loving, and adorable Father. Here we come before thee this morning to give you thanks, to praise and to glorify and to magnify your great and holy and wonderful name. We are asking thee, Holy Father, that you will look down from your dwelling throne in our lives. Search us from corner to corner. If there is any sin in our life, we are asking thee to remove it. That when we pray, our prayers might meet your approval. And glory shall come down to us. And keep us in the other palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. We pray, God, that you will dispatch your angel. To encamp around about each and every one of us, but those who have the Kobe, those who have not yet given their life to you, mm -hmm. those who are seeking after you, we pray, O oh God, that you will guide us and guide our steps as we go from time to time and from day mm -hmm. to day. Mm -hmm. For your service, for Elder Dawkins and his show that is carrying on his service night after night. I'm asking the Holy Father that you would hide them under the shadow of thy cross. Mm -hmm. Let them not be seen, but that the word that cometh from their lips may come straight from the throne of heaven. Mm -hmm. The art of your people we pray. and may souls be born for your kingdom. We pray, Father. Father, they are in a season of meeting going through this week. We pray, Father, as the message go through, <coughs> and each person may be hearing, some can stay in their home and hear, as well as those who come into the tabernacle. We pray that you will anoint each and every one, Father, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, and that their souls may be blessed mm -hmm. and soul may be born for your kingdom. When your servant stand to speak, please anoint him with the anointing oil from your throne of heaven. Pray, God. That every word that leaves his lips comes straight from you, Father, to the mm. honor. And sinners might repent and turn to you before it is too late. Because time is running out. Souls are need to be saved for your kingdom. Loving Lord, we pray that you will have mercy upon us. Guide and protect, sanctify and save. Use your people, O oh God, 
There are those who are walking with you, Father, and turn away from you, gone back to the bigger element of the world. I pray, oh God, that you will bring them back before it is too late because time is running out. Your scriptures are fulfilling and all is about to come to an end. So Father, we pray that you will manifest us, keep us, guide us and lead us in the plain part of truth. And Holy Father, when all is said and done and you shall come with the forgiveness of all sin, may each and every one of us that call upon you may found around your throne to hear from your lips. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou art faithful over a few things, and I will make you rule over many things. Enter thou into my joy, and we may go home rejoicing. We do ask and give you thanks for keeping us and guiding us and protecting us while we wait upon you for your words and for your thoughts and for all that you have done to us. In your precious name we pray. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and peace to bear. What a privilege, Lord, it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, I too want to give you thanks and praise for this opportunity we have to come together to pray before a great and awesome God. Lord, I thank you for waking each and every one of us up this morning, oh God. Not because of any good that we have done, but because of your goodness, oh Lord, that we are alive. We can praise you this morning because you have done such great things for us. Yeah. Father God, this morning I pray too that you would create in me, oh God, a clean heart. Wash me this morning. Purge me, oh Lord, from sin, oh Lord. I thank you and I praise you, oh God, for this privilege, oh God, that I have just to call upon you to my heavenly father oh god lord i thank you for all that you have done for us i thank you oh god for coming down to the sin sicker to die on our behalf to give us hope oh lord and lord right now i want to lift up this crusade oh lord before you lord you have designed this for such a time as this father your people are in need of a word from your oh god and thus far we have been receiving powerful message from your man servant Lord, but he can't do it by himself. He needs you day by day, oh God, to anoint him. Day by day, oh God, to lead and direct him, oh God, as he seeks to preach, as he seeks to warn your people of the coming doom. Oh, Father, as we listen to the message, help us not to take it lightly, oh Lord. Help us to realize that who knows that this could be the final message that we could be hearing. And so, Lord, I pray that you will anoint him. Keep him, oh God, under the shadow of your wings, oh Lord. Help him as he proclaim the message, oh Father, that it will prick our hearts, that we will give our all to you. For those who may be hearing this message for the first time, oh God, for those who, oh God, may be struggling, oh Lord, help them to surrender their hearts and their minds to you. Help them to realize, oh God, oh, that we have a heaven to win and a hell to shun. And Father, you came on this earth that we may have life and have it more abundant. You came on this earth to save us, oh Lord, to give us a better hope. We see the signs, oh God. Your coming is indeed near. And you want to, each and every one of us to be ready. Oh God, help us, oh Lord, to spend time in your word. Help us, oh God, to give our hearts day by day to you. Help us, oh Lord, to tell somebody of this message, to tell somebody of your love, to tell somebody, oh God, that there's a better way coming, that you went to prepare a place for us and you're coming back for ready people. There's so many of us that are dying. So many are leaving this earth without hope, oh God. But these crusades are there to provide hope to someone. Lord, as they listen, help each of us to receive the message that you have in store for us, oh God. So continue to be with each person, oh Lord, that, that hear the word. Continue to, 
Lord, to work on their hearts and on their minds, oh, Father. May everything be according to your will and to your glory. Continue to be, Lord, with Elder Moss as he too prayerfully prepare for next week, oh, Lord. He's a young man that loves you, oh, God, and is willing to serve you, Father. So anoint him even now with the messages that we continue, oh Lord, to hear, that will continue to be food for us, oh Lord. Lord, I lift up each church member, oh God, not just the visitors, oh God, those who may have gone cold, those who may be struggling with sin in their lives, oh God. Help them, oh Father, that they may be responsive to this message. Help each of us to reach one, our family members who are there and who live in careless lives. Lord, we want to see each of each one save our husbands, our children, uh, our cousins, Lord, our, our nieces and nephews. Each person we want to see saved into your kingdom. So, Father, I pray. I pray that we would just do the work that you have for us to do, O oh God. Hasten your second coming, O oh Lord, so that this message could be spread and you could take us from this world of sin. Thank you, O oh God, for hearing our prayer, Lord. And at the end, truly, may we, each of us on the sound of my voice, each member, each visitor, hear well done, good and faithful servants. Until that time, come, Lord, keep us faithful. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Most gracious and loving Father, God, thank you for waking us up to see a brand new day. Lord, thank you for everyone that were able to get up and hear your word this morning. Lord, your still voice. Father, continue to bless us. Lord, continue to be with us as we go from day to day. Father, as I come right now, we bring, oh God, this, this series that is going on. God, what powerful messages that been brought out, oh God. Father, you will send your, my, your servant in a mighty way. God, and we just come to say thank you and praise you for your, the messages that is going forward in a time like this. Father God, as we go, oh God, give him the strength that he needs from day to day. Father, cover him, hide him under your wings, oh God. Father, I ask you, O oh God, that as he go, Lord, may you give him the voice. Keep his voice and him in perfect help, because his mind is on you, O oh God. Father, thank you for each and everything that you would do for the remainder of this week. Father, and as I come, O oh God, I bring Brother Moss also before you. Father, manservant also. God, you say you can use anything. Lord, we ask you to use these elders right now, Brother Dawkins and Elder Moss. God, give them the strength that they need. Oh, God, but as they present, Lord, help us as your children to invite somebody out so that they can hear and enjoy the messages that we are hearing. Help us to share the link. Be with the equipment, oh, God, that... It may continue to work well and nothing may happen, O oh God. Whatever device that we are using, O oh God, we ask that you may keep it in good, um, good health. Father, continue to bless us. Be with the ones, O oh God, the missing members. O oh God, as they gone cold for the rest, yes, O oh God. Father, prick their heart, touch them, O oh God. Lord, that they may look upon Jesus sinless as he. God, help them to come to the foot of the cross while the gate is still a child. Thank you, O oh God, for all that you are doing in this meeting. Be with the parking attendance and all that is participating, O oh God. Help more of us to come out and enjoy the meetings, O oh God. Thank you for everything, O oh God. Thank you for your grace and matchless mercy towards us. Continue to bless us and guide us throughout the remainder of this day. Lord, and tonight's message as he come, Lord, use him in a mighty way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Can take one more volunteer. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word. 
just to rest upon his promises. Just to know thus said the Lord. Father, once again this morning, we come before you, thanking you, O oh God, for Brother Dawkins and Brother Moss who've taken up the mantle. Father, we ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit will continue to cover them. God, that your word will be regurgitated through them in such a powerful way, O oh God, that men, women, boys and girls and those of us who know you, God, will continue to cry out to you, to be drawn closer to you, to come to know you as Lord and Savior of our lives. Father, we ask, O oh God, right now, that you would take them to your star hosts, grant them grace, grant them mercy, grant them favor, grant them your peace, grant them endurance, grant them health. Father, that as the series continue, O oh God, that you will keep them under the shadow of your wings. Father, oh God, we just want to thank you for those who are attached this morning to this prayer meeting. Father, we ask that you would continue, Lord, to draw us close to you. Never let us go. We just thank you for being such a mighty and an awesome God to us. Father, we just thank you for your provisions. We thank you, God, for what you will do in this crusade and those that you will draw. Father, we just praise you, O Lord. We magnify your name. God, you honor your word above your name. And this morning, we just say thanks to you for your blessings upon your people. Strengthen us and continue to be with us in a special way as we continue through the remainder of this crusade. Be with Brother Moss and Brother Dawkins in a special way. Again, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Much. We are transitioning now to pray support your prayer requests and thanksgiving. It's your time. You know, just give us the highlight so we can get a few more people in before we close out. We're going to use this 10 minutes as a time of praise. So let's get in. Let's fellowship. Nobody have anything to share this morning? No praise report, no testimonies. Morning. Good morning, morning everyone. Morning, uh, Elder Ron. I can thank God this morning for being with me in a special way. Um, mm -hmm. He has kept me thus far. He has kept my voice going, um, mm -hmm. doing my home remedy, but each evening as I um, sing for his name, tone, and glory. He has been with me. I thank him for Sister Kalam who has joined us as we um, do the praise and worship segment in, in each meeting. Fuck, I thank God this morning for taking me out and bringing me back in already this morning. I've already mm. been on the road. He's kept me safe. and uh, He just continues to do what only he can do. And I ask that each and every one of us, as we continue to pray for the meetings, as we continue to attend, that the Lord continue to keep us as we share with others um, through our life living, through our testimony, mm -hmm. and that I know that he will reap a great harvest. Um, most importantly, that we would be continually drawn to him through these messages. Those of us um, members of the church as well, this is a good time for us to be drawn and be closer to the Lord. So mm -hmm. I just continue to pray for health and strength for our speakers for those who are working in the crusade, for those who are listening, and that decisions would be made for time and for eternity. Thank you, Elder. Amen. Good morning, Amen. everyone. Good morning, Elder Moss. Uh, you know, I just want to encourage um, all of us who have anything to do with these things, who are um, inviting folks to just continue to we just continue to trust God. Um, I thank you for the word that you bring every night, Elder. Um, I know that God is using you. I'm sure it's blessing others. But I just want to say that I, I could already feel um, God wanting to do something in my life. 
-hmm. And so I am just um, praying that all of us um, would just fully give ourselves to this effort. Um, you know, allow God to do whatever he wants to do in our lives. Let's not see it as our work, but see it as God's work and just give our best effort. That's all God requires. That yes. we just um, do um, the best that we can do in his service. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I invited a young man out um, to the meetings on Sunday. And then he called me Sunday, said he, he couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. um, he said he'll come on Monday. And, you know, Monday, he was there on mm -hmm. Monday night. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so, so God will move on the hearts of individuals um, to come. If they don't come, ask them to join virtually. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure God will do something in someone's life in these meetings. God, God wants to touch. God wants to change all of us in these meetings. Mm -hmm. And so I just want you to pray my strength and, and be um, intentional about sharing the link, about inviting others to these meetings mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit who is the chief soul winner, he will do the work. And so pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen, Allah. Amen. They say as many. Anybody else? If not, I'm just going to ask uh, Alan to give us our final prayer as we pray over our prayer list and lift up those um, before God. Just wait another 30 seconds to you to make up your mind if you're given a praise report, a testimony, or a prayer request that Alan will be praying for as we close out. Good morning, everyone. Just want to Good thank morning, God sister. for life, mm -hmm. the health and strength, and just realizing that God never fails. Mm -hmm. As we go through the day, let us remember just to put God first and foremost in everything we do, realizing mm -hmm. that he is a word that not diligently see him. Yes. And as you go through the services, God will give you the strength. He will give you courage, give you understanding. Mm -hmm. And he will send people. Because right. in this world we live today, men's heart are failing for fear. Mm -hmm. And people need the Lord. Yes. And we need just to pray that God will indeed turn the glory on and, and others will want to come. And hear these messages that he has been proclaiming night after night. We know time is short and people are hurting. They are hurting and they, they need a solution. They need hope. And I'm sure that the messages are giving hope and helping to heal the wounds that, that they have encountered in, in this last year or two. Mm -hmm. So continue to be encouraged, Elder Dawkins, on your team, mm -hmm. and do the work that God has called you to do. This Zoom is indeed a blessing to many. Mm -hmm. and continue to pray for those who are not doing well, you know, and that they would be enlightened and be encouraged mm -hmm. to go on and hold on. Amen. Thank you so much, sister. Do we have another? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sister Gibbs. I, just to say, I sing the mighty power of God that makes the mountains rise. And that's mm -hmm. what I've been doing this morning, just to give God praise and thanks for another day. To, to be able to bless his name, to be able to call upon his name. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say also that I am truly blessed with the, with the meeting, the evangelistic meeting, the singing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had to share it with my church and i say this is what you call crusade <laughs> mm. i'm crusade you know and so i just want to thank god that you know like sister say his, his you know the time is short and mm. we are called to, to to preach and to reach people in in this um urgent time mm -hmm. and i was so disturbed i don't know if you heard it or you realized but it seems as if most of our ministers, not our Seventh-day Adventist ministers, but as you look on the TV and the radio, it seems like if they're being called to push the vaccine, 
And I'm mm. like, what happened to the gospel? You know, mm. and as I was mm. saying, what happened to national days of prayer? We should have mm. been having national days of prayer every week in this nation. Mm. With this mm-hmm. pandemic, it seems in this time that the ministers of the gospel are now um, being pushed to, to, you know, or or encouraged to push mm-hmm. people to take the vaccine, which is really not important mm-hmm. in our spiritual lives. You know, we need to take to what God has called us to do, mm-hmm. you know, but, you know, so be it. We have to do our part. God has called us to, um, and we have to do what God has called us to do. And I just want to thank God for this crusade. And I'm praying through to the end. Mm-hmm. And the first opportunity, I'm going to be there in person. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like I'm saying, God is good. God is good. Oh, and yes. Continue to pray for each other that we would just continue this work and complete this work so that the Lord will soon come to take us home. Yes. Thank you very much, Sister Gibbs. Just, just fit one more in, and Brother Allen, you can come on after that person. What a friend we have in Jesus. I tell you, he's so special. And I appreciate all of you for your time, for your effort and for what you do for the Lord, and he will surely reward you openly. Elder Allen, let's go for our final prayer this morning. Be still and know that I am God. Mm-hmm. Songwriter said, be still and know that I am God. Father, we pause one more time to Mm -hmm. give you thanks and praise. We lift up, O God, your holy name. Mm -hmm. We, O God, are weak, but thou art strong. Mm -hmm. We do nothing of ourselves. At this time, oh God, as we embarked on this evangelistic trust, oh God, we pray for your presence. We pray, oh God, that you will turn up mightily. Oh God, in man's eyes, it may seem, oh God, that nothing is happening. But Lord God, we know that the church cannot fail. Because you said, on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Oh God, help us, oh God, that our heart will be encouraged. Oh God, never to give up. Oh God, we continue, oh God, to Hold on. We continue, O oh God, as the preacher have said, press on. We continue, O oh God, to press on. We have gone through Sabbath night, Sunday night, Monday night. O oh God, as we continue, O oh God, the rest of the night. Father, we pray, O oh God, as we invite you one more time, O oh God. You know your servants, you know Elder Moss, you know Elder Dawkins. Oh God, they are just a vessel, an empty vessel, oh God. But they have made themselves available. Oh God, I pray that you will use them. Use them, oh God, in a mighty way as you have never used them before. Oh God, we pray that souls will be saved oh god just just help us oh god to keep our eyes on the prize oh god just preach thus said god almighty and oh god we know that you will do a mighty work help us oh god that our faith will be strengthened oh god never oh god to 
to, to, to have faint hearts. Father, we know that you are almighty God. One more time, oh God, we pray that you will do a mighty work. We pray, oh God, for the members. Oh God, we pray for New Providence Church. We pray, oh God, for all the members of Real Harvest Church. And our oh God, as we come together, as we put our minds, oh God, together, as we pray prayerfully, oh God. Father, we need a, a, a touch. We, 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 we need something, oh God, from you. Oh God, we pray that you will show up. Oh God, we pray for all the members. We pray for the families. We pray, oh God, for those who are struggling financially, spiritually, morally, socially. We pray, oh God, for them. We pray for the priests, the men of the, men of the homes. We pray, oh God, that they will draw nearer unto you. Draw nearer, oh God, to you. We pray, oh God, for the, the other family members who are struggling, oh God. We pray, oh Father, that you will open up the windows of heaven and that you will pour out, oh God, your blessing on us. Oh God, keep us in tune. Help us, oh God, to understand that your coming is near. Oh God, help us, oh God, to be ready. To be ready, oh God, and knowing that we have a work to be done. A work, oh God, that need your Holy Spirit. Father, we continue, oh God, to, to bless you. We continue, oh God, to praise your name. We continue to lift up your name. And Father, as we continue on this journey, help us, oh God. Guide us and protect us and strengthen us. Oh God, cover Brother Dawkins one more time. Likewise, Brother Moss. Father, these are our prayers as we continue, oh God, to lift you up. We pray, oh God, for the sick among us. Oh God, we pray that you will touch them from the crown of their heads, O oh God, to the crown of their feet, sole of their feet. Father, open up, O oh God, do something for them, and that they will testify, O oh God, of your grace and of your mercy. Father, we continue as we say thanks to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. So the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Peace in your home, among your family members, on your works um, site, in the street. Remember, see you tonight. Bring a friend, tell a friend, share the link. God is just waiting to do something awesome in your life. Thank you for joining with us this morning. Thank you for what you do. Have a great day. That's it from me. The floor is now yours for your greetings.